As a teenager, I was so into gaming. Playing and completing the latest games was my favorite thing to do. But then this interest suddenly faded. Year after year, poorly optimized games were being released, crammed with loot boxes and microtransactions. I thought my gaming days were over. That was until I bought the Xbox Series S, a cheap next generation gaming console that is perfect for casual gamers who just want to have fun. Sure, it is not the most powerful console out there, but the Xbox Series S is the reason why I now own a PS5, Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch and built a new gaming PC. This completely underrated console made me fall back in love with video games. It was spring 2021 when I purchased the Xbox Series S. I liked the concept of Game Pass and going digital only. However, what I did not know at the time was how much the Xbox Series S would change my life. After a whole year, I am satisfied with its performance. Considering its price of £250, you'd struggle to build a gaming PC that could run games at 1080p 120fps and also achieve 1440p in select titles. For context, this budget GPU alone costs the same as an entire Xbox Series S. Sure, there are a few exceptions to the performance, with some games running at a poor 1080p 30fps. But looking at past generation consoles, even the Series S at its worst is still an improvement. At least with the Xbox Series S, you get a native 1080p resolution with higher graphic settings and even ray tracing. One of the most successful games of all time, GTA 5, runs at 1080p 30fps on the Xbox One and PS4, and that's never stopped millions of people playing that every single day. In July 2021, I uploaded my review video of the Xbox Series S. It was at this point I became addicted to gaming again. The super fast drive speeds of the internal storage makes the Series S easy to use. In the past, a big reason why I did not like console gaming was the arduous loading times. Just think Thinking about waiting around on a loading screen was enough to put me off from booting into a quick game if I had a spare 20 minutes. However, thanks to Quick Resume, you get your gaming fix instantly. System boot up times are quick and loading screens are a thing of the past. All of this saved time combined adds up across the year, providing more moments to game. For comparison, if you play Fortnite on my OG Xbox One, this game takes over one minute just to reach the start screen. Enthused by owning the Series S, throughout the past 12 months, I have invested more into my gaming setup, replacing outdated monitors, old accessories like headsets, and starting a new controller collection. I have even become excited by new gameplay trailers and anxiously anticipate new releases coming to Game Pass each month. But this excitement did come at a cost. The more I explored Game Pass, the more I downloaded. Soon I had to take the huge hit and buy the Seagate expansion card. I also bought a larger SSD for all the games that did not require the super fast speeds. To my surprise, there has not been a single day I have regretted purchasing the expansion card. I do agree that it is overpriced and a lot of money for people. But compared to sitting around transferring games between the external hard drive every night depending on what I want to play, it is totally worth it. The Series S has also played a huge part in my YouTube growth in the last year. My Xbox Series S videos alone have generated over 1.5 million views. If you've enjoyed watching any of these videos, comment Xbox Series Yes down below so I know that you're still watching. The Xbox Series S truly is the best value in gaming. The hardware is great, Game Pass is affordable with a low monthly subscription, that includes hundreds of games, EA access and Xbox Live Gold. Also, it has been the only console available on store shelves throughout this console generation. If it was not for this little beast, millions of gamers would still be waiting to experience what next-gen gaming has to offer. And for that, we owe the Xbox Series S a lot. If you own an Xbox Series S, you have to watch this video next, as it could prevent you from destroying your console.